A couple weeks ago, Denton ISD passed new resolutions to the HB3 bill that was passed by Governor Abbott. Some of those resolutions include additional funding for school security, including armed guards. I spoke to Elik Saula, who is the secretary for Representative Moody, who was one of the authors of the bill. One of the things that we identified was physical security on campus that day. Um, we had, um, you know, now part of that is what sometimes is called school hardening, which is not, you know, uh, it's a bit of an ugly word. And really, I think it, there, when people talk about that, they talk about like, oh, well, we want to make schools like prisons and there's one way in and one way out. We don't need to do all that. But what we do need to do is make sure we have doors that lock. We have campuses that someone can't just walk onto with with no impediment whatsoever, uh, which is what happened at Robb Elementary. Um, so it, it's controlling access to the campus. And then the other part is having something there if, if an emergency is to happen, if there is some kind of uh, attempt at a, a shooting or, or frankly, in many other kinds of emergencies, that there's someone there who is who is qualified and equipped to deal with that. And uh, that's that's where HB3 really came from. I also spoke to one of the local residents who also agreed that the bill should be passed because she feels like we need extra security on our school campuses. I think a bill like this was would pass because of the reason that the um, because we have seen so many active shooters, and I feel like we do need some security um, on our school grounds that can react faster well it you know it addressed a pressing need that we have in this state which is school security uh which i think has been high unfortunately highlighted over and over again by uh the shootings that we've had on campuses it's not a complete solution to that problem uh but it is one that um uh, it does address a crucial part of it. I spoke with Steve Butler, who is a former secu school security employee, who thinks that the bill is able to work. However, he also believes there is another factor that the bill did not cover. I think it's better than nothing. I think, um, unfortunately, like the, the day and age that we live in, there's just crazy people out there. And I think... Uh, someone's always going to try to do things like that to harm others. You know, a lot of, I think from what I've seen, a lot of like the individuals that are doing these things, I mean, there's a lot of mental health issues that are going on. Um, so, you know, family environment, there's a lot of, factors that that go into some of these individuals as the school year has gone on the major point of focus has been school security and schools have said that their number one priority is to make sure that the kids feel safe for nttv daily news i am mason branham